I'm Alexa Schwerha with Campus Reform, and you're watching Five Big Questions. The Indiana legislature has voted to overturn a veto by Republican Governor Eric Holcomb and now will ban men from competing in women's sports. The bill is a number of similar bills passed all across the country that look to ban men from women's sports in order to increase fairness and integrity in women's competitions. Joining me now to discuss the bill is rising senior at Indiana University Bloomington, Kyle Reynolds. Kyle is a again rising senior and is the editor in chief of the campus publication, The Crimson Post. Kyle is also a campus reform correspondent. Kyle, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. So to jump into this conversation, what inspired you to want to speak out on this issue? And what do you want your fellow students to know about the bill? Well, I think it's very important that um, students speak out against uh, transgenders being able to compete on whatever sports team they may identify with. Obviously, with um, athletes like Leah Thomas, we've seen that um, biological males can gain a huge advantage um, if transitioning and competing against uh, female athletes. So personally, I was very disappointed with our governor when he vetoed that bill. Um, uh, but I, I, I thank the Indiana legislature for stepping up and, and overriding that veto and, and helping to protect the integrity of female sports. You know, here at the Leadership Institute's Campus Reform, we have been covering this topic extensively, and we've also reported on protests on campus that are against bills like the one that was passed in Indiana. Why do you think students are protesting these bills? I think it's just, there's this feeling, uh, certainly on campus and in um, society at large, that if you don't support these bills, if you don't support legislation that protects um, the rights of transgender students to um, uh, compete on whatever sports team that they identify with or use whatever bathroom they identify with. You're necessarily bigoted. You um, don't respect the rights of trans people. Um, you, you know, I've been told that I, I wish to do violence against transgender individuals simply because I don't put pronouns in my email address. So I think there's, there's this feeling that um, there's this feeling certainly on campus that if you don't uh, respect the rights of trans people to compete in um, the sport in which they identify, then, then you're bigoted, you're discriminating against them. So I'd, I'd say that's generally why students seem to have this overwhelming support um, for these initiatives. Now, as a student on campus, I'm very curious to hear your own perspective. We have seen this conversation about athletes competing based on gender identity have a nationwide platform, but what are students saying about the issue? I, don't, I wouldn't say that there is much um, discussion on campus. There's, it, it seems that there's generally be it's generally been accepted that the only acceptable viewpoint on campus is to support transgender students, to support um, their competition in whatever sport they might identify with, to support them using the bathroom in which they, they choose to, even um, rooming in whatever dorm they may identify with, obviously causing severe repercussions for other students that may have concerns over privacy, but this discussion really isn't being had on campus because there's this very uh, monolithic culture where if you don't support, um, if you don't support whatever uh, the progressive party line is at the moment, then you're, you're seen as bigoted and, and students fear academic repercussions. They fear um, consequences from the administration. So it's really not being talked about. You know, I like you wrote the fact about the fear of speaking out because that is something that we see happen time and time again here at the Leadership Institute's campus reform. Students are more likely to self-censor their views on campus because they fear the backlash from their peers, from their professors, from faculty members. So it's very important that more students are beginning to speak out on this issue. But I do want to move the conversation a little more and talk about the changes that are coming up because of this conversation on trans athletes competing in sports. The Biden administration is now getting involved in looking to rewrite Title IX to include gender identity. How do you think that this move would impact students? I think there's a number of ways that it might impact students from um, already on campus. We're seeing many universities, including my own, um, create gender neutral restrooms or creating policies where uh, students are allowed to use whichever restroom corresponds to the gender in which they identify as. Um, Student uh, universities are using student fees to provide hormone treatments and to provide uh, transitioning therapy to students. Uh, students are being allowed to um, bunk in whatever dorm fits their gender identity. So I, I think we'll only see more of these programs. Um, obviously, it causes an incredible amount of harm to students, uh, students who um, have concerns over privacy, who have uh, sort of traditional, uh, traditional opinions with regard to gender. So I think many of these policies that have already been uh, enacted will only be extended if 
uh, Title IX comes to include uh, gender identity as well. And Kyle, my final question for you here as an outspoken advocate for the issue itself, what do you think more people need to do to get involved in this debate? I think simply speaking out and not being fear, you know, not fearing censorship, not fearing repercussions, showing that there are um, there are still students, there are still individuals out there who don't share this radical opinion on gender identity, who believe in a traditional sense of gender, believe that male males and females are the only gender and that you necessarily correspond to whatever, um, whatever gender was biologically you know, assigned to you. Kyle, thank you so much for joining me today and breaking down this issue. Thank you.